All right, guys, back with some random Yankee inserts. I have two different Yankee series currently going. There's the Autograph and Relic series, and then there's this one where I'm just kind of randomly selecting stuff from my binders, whatever I feel like showing at the moment. So I just have a pretty small stack here, starting with this Don Mattingly from 94 Flare. Uh, infield power insert just love all the 90s flare stuff whether it was base cards or inserts they were always putting out some good looking stuff next here's a uh, Roger Clemens 2002 studio stars the 1995 studio had a credit card look similar to this but that whole set looked like that. This is a, an insert set from 2002. So you see it has his wins total, strikeout total, ERA, the month and year that he debuted, and his date of birth. Now on the back, you got the stamped signature. And there are gold and platinum versions of this. Those would be serial numbered right here. But it's just the basic one. But still, even the basic one looks nice. Here's a pretty basic looking one, but I like it. A gallery of stars of Jim Abbott. Kind of looks like a Diamond Kings. And it's also done by Dick Perez, like the Diamond Kings. Again, this is probably one you could find for like under a buck. But despite the value of it, I just really like the way it looks. Next, here's a pair of... Stardate 2000 inserts from 1997 EX 2000. These were pretty sweet, had some nice shine to them. Got the outer space design. There's the Andy Pettit. I also have the Derek Jeter, which got pretty expensive a few years ago during the craziness of 2020. People were paying ridiculous prices for that one, as well as some other Jeter inserts, including this one right here. This is a 1999 Skybox Premium Soul of the Game. Yeah, so this is another one that got pretty expensive. I'm pretty sure they've cooled off since then, but these are the ones I had from like the late 90s, early 2000s, so... I didn't have to pick them up and there's no way I, I was going to pick them up at the prices they were going for a few years ago. Here's another one that doesn't look too fancy or anything, but I just like it. There's Doc Gooden, 97 Fleer, Golden Memories. Again, not too much going on with the design, not a lot of colors or anything, but this kind of captures my eye. I like the photo of Doc there and different photo on the back. Talks about his 96 no hitter. Again, just another nice binder card there. And then a couple years later, they did an insert with the same name, but it looked totally different. There's David Wells. I think it talks about his perfect game back there. So, yeah, I kind of appreciate that. Even though they kept the same insert name, they completely changed the way it looked. That's the kind of effort that I appreciate from back then. Now here's a design that has been used many times for many different inserts, many different products, I think different companies and everything. This kind of playing card design, but I always seem to like it for some reason because everybody puts like their own unique spin on it. So you got El Duque Hernandez, one of my favorite pitchers ever. That's a Pacific Invincible. Diamond Aces. They got an English and Spanish, which Pacific would often do. But again, for some reason, I just happen to like those playing card inserts whenever anybody does them. A few more to go. I'm never quite sure like how many to show in one video, but there's like a handful left. Here's a Paul O'Neill Ultra on Base Leader from 95. Again, not one that's very difficult to get at all, but just looks really cool. Got a bunch of Polo nails on the front. 
and then even the back looks really nice too which again I appreciate that from back in the day the front and back usually look pretty nice and we're gonna finish off with some acetate type cards here's another Paul O'Neill I think that's 94 studio they call it editor's choice but yeah those are pretty sweet here's a uh, Tino Martinez 98 upper deck amazing greats that was one of 2000 which was a pretty big deal back then I remember I pulled two of these cards not Tino I pulled uh Sammy Sosa and, and Andrew Jones and sold them for pretty good money back then and then eventually picked up the Tino but yeah for a brief time those were pretty popular here's a nice Roger Clemens from 99 EX Century favorites for Fenway that was one of Clemens early cards with the Yankees a lot of his early Yankee cards had him in his spring training gear again it looks pretty sweet on the front and the back really nice card and last one this was definitely one of my favorite insert sets back then 2000 flare ultra swing kings you can really see through those cards really well i remember i pulled a frank thomas like this and just from the look of it i thought it was like a really expensive card but as we often did back then, I went and checked the latest Beckett for the price. And I think it was like a $5 card or something. They weren't that difficult to pull. But again, despite the odds, despite the value, really love that insert set. Really sweet card. So there you go. That's the end of this Yankee video. Maybe I'll do a non-Yankee video next. Maybe another sport to mix things up a bit. But either way, hope to be back with something sometime soon.